2022 may bring more uncertainty for crypto investors. A hawkish Federal Reserve might stifle the demand for risk in the markets and cause greater volatility in the Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency markets. Recent weeks have seen an outpouring of the volatility that is normally associated with cryptocurrencies on show. With a recent price of US$43,850, Bitcoin, the biggest cryptocurrency, has gained roughly 33% since January 24. This follows a fall that saw its price drop by half from its record high in November. As a direct competitor, Ether has gained around 45% since January 24 and is now trading at roughly $3,200, after a drop of over 56% from its all-time high of $4,868 set in November. In the past two years, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have risen in lockstep with equities as the Federal Reserve and other central banks injected unprecedented amounts of support into the global economy. Since March 2020, Bitcoin's price has increased by 1,039%, while Ether's price has increased by 2,940%, despite multiple stomach-churning sell-offs. A more aggressive Fed, forecast to hike rates up to seven times this year to combat rising inflation, has caused a market sell-off. The S&P 500 is down 5.5% year-to-date, while the Nasdaq is down 9.3%. It has been more difficult for some traders to retain an optimistic stance on Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, an asset class that has been associated with extreme volatility due to concerns about an aggressive central bank tightening cycle. When it comes to Bitcoin, the ultimate momentum trade because there are so many hazards that might precipitate a 40% decline out of nowhere, says OANDA analyst Ed Moyer. However, other experts are still attempting to figure out the currency's true worth or identify crucial price points. Because Bitcoin is less volatile than gold, which investors use to hedge against inflation and economic instability, JP Morgan analysts estimate Bitcoin's current fair value at roughly $38,000 15% below its previous price. If Bitcoin's price falls below $47,000, a big short squeeze might occur, according to Vanda Research, which recently noted that most bearish bets on a worse Bitcoin price were taken at that level. According to BOFA Global Research, the correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P 500 hit an all-time high on January 31st, undermining the argument for those wanting to utilize Bitcoin as a market hedge. In the next week, investors will be anticipating the release on Wednesday of the minutes from the Federal Reserve's most recent monetary policy meeting. As the corporate earnings season continues, Walmart and the chipmaker Nvidia will be among the corporations to disclose results. The built-in supply restriction and the network effect produced by blockchain technology, as well as certain investors' belief in its long-term value proposition, have some investors bracing themselves to ride out Bitcoin's volatility. According to Timmer's supply, demand estimates, Bitcoin might reach US$100,000 by 2023. Some people fear that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ether, which have already reached maturity, will not be able to maintain their record-breaking increases. According to PitchBook, US$30 billion was invested in the crypto field last year, including Metaverse and NFTs. According to CoinMarketCap.com, Cryptocurrencies including Cosmos, Terra Luna, and Polkadot are down about 20%, 38%, and 25% year-to-date. One of the biggest problems for investors in 2022 is to understand the risks associated with them and decentralized finance, according to Lily Frankus, Director of Quantitative Research Strategy at Moody's Analytics. Cryptocurrencies market volatility will continue, but there are important players both on the institutional and retail sides who remain expanding, according to Oanders Moyer.